Good morning, folks. Today we've got news from deep space, news from our own stellar neighborhood. We've got space weather, earth weather, and the earthquake watch begins to peak. We begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a pretty calm day. Had some filament instability near the limbs, but the earth-facing longitudes were quiet. But when we pull a negative color 171 angstrom view, the dark blue umbral magnetic fields are revealed on the northern hemisphere, each side, each with a sunspot group. The departing group to the right is just one umbra, but we do have slightly more sunspots with much more compact field activity on the left. Even still, as we come down, the polarity is spread, divided, and the lack of interaction keeps solar flaring very, very low. You see the departing coronal hole on the equator to the right, its solar wind is arriving at Earth as particle speed rose sharply over the last day, indicating we're in the stream. And as of now, Earth's magnetic shield is holding back geomagnetic storms best it can, even if there are some weak spots where plasma penetration and atmospheric absorption are extreme. The next coronal hole on the left enters the Earth-facing fourth of our star now, and the earthquake watch is activated. CME coupling expected soon, too. Up next... We've got a number of new animations from NASA's Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio, looking at volcanic ash clouds from Calbuco, looking at wildfire smoke from Washington State, and watching Saharan dust lift and carry across the Atlantic. Each of these videos has an explanatory bit and can be downloaded from the link you have posted in the description box below the video, where you can find all the daily links every morning. Up next... How about radio detections of superstellar flares on the order of a million times more powerful than what our sun can produce? The authors say, there's much about stellar behavior and activity we do not yet understand because this record breaker cannot even be compared to most other celestial events of this nature. Last but not least in the world of news, the DNA analysis of the Kelly twins is progressing. As you might expect, we do see markers of their vastly different time spent in space, but perhaps more interesting is that the brother on the ground showed opposite activity of the one in space, which returned to normal when his brother came home. The effects of solar and cosmic rays on human health is a major one heading into the future. There's an entire chapter on technological and health effects of that energy. Of course, if we get a geomagnetic storm today or those quake events, many of you will be the first to know, even before major private and government notifications are sent. Hoping to get you a deeper look today on a potential mechanism hypothesis of deep earthquakes involving electromagnetokinetic forcing of electrically neutral particles. Right now, we've got pressure and radar forecasts, null school global run, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.